Hi all, this is Tanishka from Edureka and I welcome you all to this Azure demo class where we'll be talking about Azure and why is it so much in trend. So before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our Edureka YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any updates. So let's get started. Let's quickly have a glance on today's agenda. So today we'll be discussing about need for Azure followed by what is Azure and then we'll see why should we pursue career in Azure and once we understand this we finally see how to get started to build our career in Azure. Need for Azure. So why do we need Azure? We need Azure because Azure felicitates faster mobility and consistent platform between on-premises and public cloud environments. It also offers broader range of hybrid connections such as VPNs, caches, content delivery networks, express route connections to improve the usability and performance. It's been said that on-premises data center has no future. That's why it is predicted that around 80% of all enterprise workloads will move to cloud by 2025. This means that there will be high demand for professionals who can develop cloud applications and manage cloud infrastructures. And Microsoft Azure certifications will surely help you gain these skills. If we talk about some facts and figures related to Azure, then last year, Microsoft Azure was named a leader by Gartner Magic Quadrant for cloud database management system. Apart from this, According to counterpart research, which is mostly used for ranking IoT platforms, declared that Microsoft Azure is considered a global leader in edge data processing by end-to-end -end capabilities with total score of 276. Also, 63% of the enterprises are currently running apps on Microsoft Azure that is narrowing the gap with AWS in both percentage of enterprises using it and the number of virtual machines enterprises are running on it. Apart from this, 6% of the enterprises are spending at least 1.2 million annually on Microsoft Azure. Moving ahead, if you look on to the future scope, then it is predicted that global spending on cloud services is expected to reach over $482 billion in 2022 from past two years. According to Forbes, Microsoft is predicted to gain market share versus Amazon's AWS in next three years. So there would be great job opportunities for the working professionals and no doubt there would be equal number of competitions too. Major tech giants like EY, Henneken, NBC Sports, Citrix, Mindtree, TCS, Wipro, Invoices and many other MNCs worldwide use Azure across the industries. So Azure certified working professionals will get great opportunities to work with such tech giants. If we talk about the features provided by Azure, then Azure provides amazing features like security. So if we talk about the security, then security development lifecycle is an industry leading security process on which Azure has been designed. It comprises of security at its core and private data and services stay safe and secure on the Azure cloud. Next, so if we talk about the hybrid connections, then Azure has hybrid capabilities that makes it unique. It felicitates easy mobility and reliable consistent platform between on-premises and public cloud. Azure also provides a broader range for hybrid connections including VPNs, caches, content delivery networks, and express connections to improve the usability and performance. If we talk about the cost effectiveness, then Azure is the most cost effective cloud for Windows Server workloads. If you are a Windows Server customer with software assurance, you can combine Azure Reserve instances with Azure hybrid benefits and save up to 82% compared to pay-as-you-go prices and up to 67% compared to AWS RIs for Windows VMs. In addition, with Azure hybrid benefit for SQL Server, 
customers with software assurance will be able to save even more. Next, if we talk about the scalability, then applications that run easily, unaffectedly and scale from 10 to 10 million users can be created without any additional coding by using Azure. Azure Storage provides ductile, safe, secure and performance efficient storage services in cloud. It becomes simpler to change settings and use more processors for the applications to use. And lastly, flexibility. With Microsoft Azure, you can sign up new services and geometrically scale up your data storage capabilities on the fly. Compare this to a static data center, which would require new hardware and OS purchasing, provisioning, and deployment before additional power could be brought to bear against your IT challenges. This modern flexibility makes Azure a tempting solution for organizations of any size. So now that we come to know why do we need Azure, let's see what is actually Azure. So Azure is a public cloud computing platform with solutions including infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service that can be used for services such as analytics, virtual computing, storage, networking, and many other services. Moving ahead, why should we pursue career in Azure? So previously, I gave you a lot of facts about why Azure is trending so much and how much it would be beneficial for working professionals too. So let's see with one more fact. It is said that Microsoft Azure is the second most used public cloud platform by enterprises with more than 35% of them currently running apps today. If we talk about the job vacancies and the salaries, then in India, there are more than 23,000 job vacant for the Azure professionals and their salary ranges between 6 lakhs to 15 lakhs per annum. Well, if we see it in US, then there are 172,000 plus jobs vacant for Azure professionals and their average salary is $130,000 per annum. So now that we have come to know why should we pursue career in Azure, let's see how to get started. So we should first see what are the skills required in Azure. So we surveyed in many companies that required Azure professionals and among them we'll be discussing the top three companies and their job descriptions and requirements for Azure professionals. So here, if you could see, this is a requirement for Azure AD Architect by TCS Services. So if you look on to their skill, uh, skill requirements, then they need a strong knowledge of AD Architect and infrastructure and DNS, Kerberos and Windows authentication, modern authentication, HLD, LLD for AD, ADFS and AD Connect, ADCS, PKI, DNS and DHCP and external DNS system architect. Moving ahead, there is a requirement for a cloud architect by Ola and their skills require IAS, PAS or services like Kubernetes, data analytics, etc. Public cloud network and security capability services, architectural framework for applications, resiliency or disaster recovery, Kubernetes service and other PaaS services for cloud native. Apart from this, skills like cloud CLIs, APIs, cloud formation templates and management consoles and many other skills are also beneficial for the Azure professionals. And lastly, cloud enterprise architect by Accenture. So according to their job description, they require a professional which can work on containers, Azure Kubernetes services, Terraform, ARM templates, infrastructure as a code, Azure DevOps, Ansible, and Converse infrastructure. And most important, they should be Azure certified. As you can see, their desired certification is AZ303 and AZ304, which is an Azure certification. Apart from this, you must also have skills in networking, Linux, designing security, PowerShell scripting, cloud computing concepts, and you should also be familiar with public cloud platforms like AWS, Azure, GCP. 
So if you're planning to start your career with Azure and confused at how to start it, so you can refer to our Edureka YouTube channel and you can find all content related to Azure. And to make it more easy, you can also find our Azure playlist so that you can get all your contents related to Azure at one place. Apart from this, if you are much into reading, then you can re also refer to our Edureka blogs and enhance your knowledge through it. So this was all about Azure. I hope you enjoyed the sessions and got to know about Azure. I hope you think about it and make Azure as a part of your career. If you have decided and if you are interested in enrolling for Azure online training certifications, then do check out the link given below in the description. And also, if you have any questions, then feel free to leave the comments on the comment section. Happy learning.